addicts, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming today and not because of this video necessarily, but I've been so sick the past couple of days, like five, four days in a row and today I'm still not even feeling that well. I felt well enough to film today. I had my coffee. I put on some lashes. So I am super pumped that I'm finally back to filming because I am like a productive freak. Like I cannot just lay around and do nothing. So I'm so happy to be back to filming, editing, getting more videos up for you guys, getting more Instagram posts up for you. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Anyway, let's get started with this video. I am first going to talk about my December favorites uh, that I am currently wearing today, and then I'll get into the rest of my favorites. I will say that there will be a lot of repeat favorites. And my beauty favorites, I'm also going to be including fashion favorites in this video, just because I won't tend to have a lot of fashion. So unless down the road maybe I have more fashion. I don't know if you guys want me to separate it, but if you don't mind it together, just kind of let me know what your thoughts on that are on that. But at this moment, it's not like I'm going to have a ton of fashion. But yeah, so let's just get started. Oh, also there will be a giveaway at the end of this video. So the hint is right in front of you as to what it is. But I will be giving away four prizes to you guys. Um, so I will give you all the details at the end of the video. It will be only national. And I will explain why it's only going to be a national giveaway, just a U.S. giveaway. All right, so let's jump on into it. I guess I'll just go in the order in which I did my makeup. So one product that I've been talking about forever, and I mentioned it in my most repurchased video. I'm gonna be mentioning it in a Holy Grail favorites video down the road. I mean, I'm just constantly talking about this product. To be fair, it's the only concealer that I have at the moment. So to, but at the same time, it works so well that it is that I don't feel the need to even try anything else. Or, you know, I've actually looked at other e.l.f. Cosmetics concealers and nothing seems to be rating as well as the one that I'm about to show you. And looking at them, I'm just like, this seems like a really good one. So the one that I am talking about with you guys today is the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. You know, it's really nice because it is thick enough to cover up your redness. Um, at least my redness. I have some light pink flush cheeks that are just naturally like that, just like right here. I don't know how well it will cover up zits or whatever, like, but I, but for me, just, you know, kind of evening out my skin tone, it's perfect. So what I do is I put it on my lid and on my brow bone, and then later on in my makeup routine, I put it on right underneath my eyes and on my cheeks, and I've been really, really liking this a lot. Uh, I haven't noticed, I have really had no problems with it. When I first got it, I was like, it's all right. You know, nothing exciting. Like, I didn't put it in any of my favorites videos. And eventually I started saying, you know, like, I use this all the time. And I, I don't mind it. But I just don't know why it's not a favorite. And eventually I'm like, it's a favorite. God damn it. I just have to accept it. <laughs> it is a favorite. I just, I don't know. I just really like it a lot, you know. I do want to try other concealers. Uh, I did put the Wet n Wild concealer on my Christmas wish list. So maybe if I get that for Christmas, I can try that out and compare. I also put the ColourPop highlight or uh, ColourPop concealer on my wish list. So maybe I'll get that. Uh, the only thing is it sucks is the Wet n Wild concealer. I think you can only get, like at least I can't get it in the store. And I don't think I can get it at Target. But, you know, so hopefully I can try out another concealer, especially from another brand. Maybe down the road I can afford a high-end concealer. But for now, I am perfectly happy with the e.l.f. HD concealer. It works great. All right, and the next products that I went in with were from ColourPop. And these are their Super Shock Shadows. Unfortunately, these are limited edition. But disc ColourPop's always discontinuing their products, even if they're not limited edition. So whatever at this point, I'm just going to have to share with you guys what I'm using, especially because I have so many eyeshadows that I need to use up. And this is legitimately what I'm using a lot. And I got really excited too. I think it's just this time of year. Whenever ColourPop came out with their holiday 2016 collection, I was just blown away. It's honestly one of my most favorite collections that have been released that I have purchased from. I really enjoyed the products that came out and a lot of them coordinated so well together, including Koosh and Tinsel. These paired together, which is what I have on today, these pair together like they were meant to be. So I have Koosh on my lid. I have Tinsel in my crease and my lower lash line. I do have a Sugar Plum Fairy makeup tutorial, which I will link down below. So if you guys have these eyeshadows or if you have other, um, 
eyeshadows that are similar that you know you can or dupes for these that you can try out that look um it was it's actually one of my most favorite looks of all time i love recreating it recreating versions of it today i went a little bit more simple and i didn't do the outer corner um just because i'm lazy i hate having to do the outer corner i love doing the outer corner once it's done but like i i blend and i blend and i blend and i blend and I blend. So I don't want to have to deal with that. <laughs> so what I've been doing, actually, that's actually kind of like a makeup technique that I've been really loving the past month is not doing out the outer corner. Even like the past couple of months, I've been really liking just doing a nice lid and a crease color. So that's like one of my makeup techniques is to do the lid and the crease color. And another technique that I've been really loving is doing matte crease and a, like a metallic titanium finish lid. I have told you guys so many times, so many videos, probably gonna slap me for saying it again, but I really love putting metallic and titanium type finish eyeshadows on the lid, not just shimmer. It has to be thick. Like that's what I love about the color pop. What are these, the ultra metallics? This is a metallic tinsel. And then, oh, this is so small. Kush is an ultra metallic. So they're metallic, ultra metallics are amazing on the lid. I create my favorite looks using these. I know Liberty was another good one. I only used it like once or twice. We'll throw that in there. Um, I'll go grab that in a second. But like those are my favorite to put on the lid. So I pretty much pick my ColourPop lid shade and then I base the whole entire look off of that lid shade. And that is what I love to create. So I just, I just love the, and these two I put together just because I thought the color scheme was really great. So uh, I really highly recommend ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I have not tried their pan eyeshadows yet. But I'm just obsessed with their Super Shock shadows, especially because they're great on the go. Um, you just grab it and throw it in your purse and they're not too big or perfect. Like, I love them and I even use my fingers to apply them. So I would really recommend getting those Ultra Metallics. It doesn't have to be these two particular shades, but just go into ColourPop's website, pick out a really fun um, Super Shock shadow. And I would go on the lighter side, like what I do for my lid, I usually pick like a medium to light, usually a light shade. And I put that on my lid and go in with a little bit of a darker shade in the crease and just base off a look like that. I'm sure they have ultra metallics that are really dark. You can certainly do that, but if you're trying to dip your toes into it, start with something light like Koosh and you know, do a little bit darker of a, of a crease shade and just build your looks from there. I think that's my, those are my favorite techniques is just due to the lid and the crease and then to make sure that the lid is a metallic or titanium finish and that the crease is matte. You can also, like I said, use a metallic, but the main thing is the lid has to be like really standing out. Love doing the lid. That's like my favorite part about my eye makeup. Then the next thing that I went in with is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner of any type that I, at the moment, whether it's cream, gel, whatever. I absolutely love the Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner. It's my favorite liquid liner that I have tried and it works just really well. The formula is good, the brush is good. Um, and I'm just really, really happy with it. So I would highly recommend checking out this liquid eyeliner. Um, yeah. Try it. It's really good. And the next thing that I have been loving is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I'm obsessed with face primers from e.l.f. I think that they are, they are amazing. Um, but this one I have been using a lot lately and it's definitely my favorite one to use at the moment. I did kind of compare, I did do a little comparison between this one and the Mineral Infused one from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So if you want to hear more details on that, go check out my Best and Worth, Worst of e.l.f. Cosmetics video. Hint, hint. This is mentioned at the very end of the video. I did mention the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer in that video. I mean, obviously in that video, I talk about every single e.l.f. product. So any e.l.f. product that I mentioned in this video, I go into detail on that video too. So if you wanna hear more of my thoughts, go check that out. But the next product that has been a favorite of mine, a holy grail of mine, is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. It just has the greatest coverage. I love how it feels on the skin. I've just been so happy with it. I definitely want to repurchase it. I will say though, I've been telling you guys how you know, I've kind of been debating on how I feel about the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, how it compares to this one. And I'm like, my dry skin, you know, I can definitely see it more. Or it kind of like stands out, well, it stands out, but like it doesn't cover up my dry skin whenever I put on the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. But I put this on today and I realized it looks, the skin, my skin ends up looking kind of the same. So I think, so I'm, I'm not as hard on the Flawless Finish Foundation. It's actually going to be bumping up, I think, on my likes list because I looked at my skin and I'm like, okay, the finish seems kind of similar. Like I still see some of my dryness peeking through even with this one and I love this one. So I definitely think that the Flawless Finish one is maybe a better contender than I think. So we shall see. I am gonna put up a video on that. I have been doing like, 
uh, I did a first impressions with a brush, that's almost going beauty brush. I did a, um, not necessarily first impressions, but first impressions with a beauty blender, the Essel Miss Glam Sparkle Every Day Beauty Blender. I, you know, filmed that. I'm going to do my final thoughts eventually, but I'm putting together a beefy video on that foundation, but I'm still kind of making sure, figuring out how I feel about it. And then the next thing is I went in with the Fanny Pack Highlighter. Also, this was a limited edition uh, highlighter that went came from the Holiday 2016 ColourPop collection. This highlighter needs to come back. Like, I don't, I don't think that there is a super shock, I don't think that there's a super shock highlighter from ColourPop Cosmetics that is just a straight white. And this is a pearlized finish. If you guys notice, I swear I've learned, I like, I've looked at, I mean, granted, maybe this is not completely straight white, but I'm pretty sure it is. I can't really tell if there's a reflex of anything. Uh, it's what I'm wearing on my cheekbone today, my nose, and my cubist bow. But I feel like every other white highlighter that's come out from ColourPop in their Super Shock form, not their Pam, but their Super Shock, has had like a pink reflect or a gold reflect or it was one of the tie-dye ones. It had multiple reflex. But this one is just a straight white, perfect for someone with what, light skin. So if this ever comes back, or if you don't mind paying extra money for it on Amazon, which actually is kind of ridiculous, but to me, I wouldn't. But at the same time, if you're struggling to find that right highlighter, this may be the one for you because it, it's just amazing. It's perfect for someone who has light skin. Um, it's beautiful. I love the cream. It's great for on the go. I'm just, I, I just want, <laughs> if I had to ask ColourPop to bring some certain products back, this is definitely would be one of them. And a lot of them would be coming from the Holiday 2016 collection. I think a couple of their, their there may be some that have come back or come in a, in a more permanent form. I think I want to say the brown lippy that was in this collection ended up coming in the permanent form. So definitely check just in case there may be one or two products that did end up sticking around, just not in the holiday packaging. But honestly, a lot of them I would be pull a lot of my please bring them back color pop products I would be requesting from the holiday 2016 collection. I will link my review video down below for you guys going over that collection. And the next product I want to talk about is another pop color pop super shock shadow. Not from the Holiday 2016 collection, it's actually something you guys can still get. And it is their eyeshadow in tassel. This is a repeat favorite for sure. It's a metallic finish. I put it on the inner corner of my eye today. I just love it on the inner corner of my eye because it's a thick white eyeshadow. It's creamy. I can take it on the go. It's beautiful. My only thing against it is, is the glitter. I wish Bites was still around or Bites in a better formula was around just because I love it matte too. So I love having a glittery version, but I also want a matte version. So I, I, I haven't double checked the website in a while, but hopefully they'll come up with another Super Shock shadow that is a matte white, uh, no reflex or anything, just straight matte white. And I would love that. So I have the glittery version, but I would also like the white version, but great for the inner corner. Definitely one of my favorite ColourPop eyeshadows of all time. The next thing I did was work on my brows and these are the, two, the duo that I've been loving lately. So it is my e.l.f. Brow Pencil in Taupe. It is the perfect brow pencil for me at the moment because it is the right shade. And not only is it the right shade, but it's also like, well, the reason why it's a light shade is the right shade is because it's darker um, than what I was using before from ColourPop, which was Blondie, but also it is cool toned. So that's what I love about it. It's also really affordable. The brush is fine. Um, and I, I'm fine with the formulation of it, so I would re recommend checking this out, especially if you are on a budget. If you're not on a budget, I would recommend checking out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I've repurchased this product many times. I have repurchased the brow pencil as well a couple of times, uh, but I love this Clear Brow Gel. If, if you have money to splurge and you don't mind, this is great. I would recommend though um, to save some money, maybe get this and get a drugstore and use the drugstore one more often and then use this one for more special occasions or you know maybe use the drugstore one like three days a week and you only use this one two days a week depending on how often you wear your makeup but you know um, just to save you some money but I love <laughs> I love this this um, brow gel from the moment that I got it but eventually I was like I need to save some money so you know <laughs> great one. I, I love the formula, I love the brush. I think this is the best formula and the best brush. Then I went in and put on lashes and Samantha March Girl, I blame you, but I'm okay with it. I am back to loving lashes. I went, I've definitely gone through periods, you guys know, where I just don't wanna deal with lashes. It's an extra step and part of me still doesn't wanna deal with the extra step. But now from watching videos where I've not been wearing lashes on videos where I am wearing lashes, 
it is such a huge difference. I love it. I just, I, I think I look better. I think on camera it looks better. I think in person it looks better. I think I just look cuter. Like, I know there's something about lashes that they just make you look more adorable. I don't know if that's just my opinion, unless you get like the really crazy ones, but, um, but like just, you know, day to day or, you know, for fun looks, I think that they're so cute. And I know I've worn lashes out in public before and I've been told like, oh, your, your eyelashes are so adorable, you know, like, and you know, like once I put them on, like I went through a period where I wasn't wearing them at all for a while. And then this little thing broke, which is my dual lash glue in dark tone. And uh, it broke and then I was just like, well, whatever, I guess I won't do my lashes for a while. But then the one day I was like, I'm moving a full out look and it, my look was so dark and overdone. You guys will see it in an upcoming video. But I was like, there's no way that I can, like, I can get away with this look and not put it on lashes. Like, this le this look is just screaming for lashes. So I ended up, like, cutting this thing off. I finally got it to be working pretty good <laughs> for considering that I broke it and then I had to kind of break it more to make it work. But, um, we've had a journey, me and this duo lash adhesive. But, but I was able to get it to work and put the lashes on. And then ever since I've been putting the lashes on, it's really hard for me to film without doing it. Even today, I'm like, okay, I didn't do a super glam look, but I was like, I need the lashes. And I blame Samantha Marsh, girl. You keep wearing them in your videos and talking about them. Like she's talking about them so much and wearing them so much that I'm just like been hypnotized and now I need them. And it, su it sucks too, because I'm like, oh my gosh, like I have four pairs of these, but they all have been used. Um, these are the glam, the Ardell Glamour Lashes, and I have to, like, ride these out for as long as possible because I don't have a job at the moment. I don't know when I'm going to get a job, so I'm just like, okay, we're going to keep reusing these until they fall apart, and um, I do want to try out other lashes, too, from other brands, some high-end brands, maybe some other more affordable brands, uh, but I've always been a huge fan of the Glamour Doll Lashes, uh, or Glamour Doll. Glamour Lashes, I've repurchased these many times in the single, in the multi-packs, um, and I love the duo lash adhesive. I know we've had a struggle, but but it's my fault. I, I don't know, something happened in the move, it got squished or something, and then I got over it and I was like, my dad's car was packed like sardines, like sardines, like it was so freaking packed. And I had to throw out stuff, I had to give stuff away to neighbors, they were happy about it, but um, yeah, I couldn't take everything. <laughs> So this poor thing. But anyway, I will link Samantha March's information down below for you guys. Um, if you guys want to see more videos and all the different lashes that she's been trying out, I will have her information linked down below. But I'm actually, thank you, Samantha. I'm really excited about getting back into lashes. Like, it makes my makeup look so much more fun. And I see why so many YouTubers are all about lashes. Because in day-to-day -day life, you really think, like, do you really need lashes? But I think us YouTubers know how great that they are because we're the ones that are editing videos, taking selfies. Like we really see the difference because we have to have such a, you know, uh, an eye for it. Like we have to be looking at that kind of stuff. And as a YouTuber, you notice things that you wouldn't have noticed in your normal life. Like I didn't realize that I had like pores or like <laughs> that I had certain wrinkles. I'm like, some of that kind of sucks. But then you kind of like look at different pictures and you're like, wow, okay, this works and this doesn't. But anyways, I'm going on way too long about lashes. I'm so obsessed with them now. And then the last product that I am wearing that has made my favorites this month is the ColourPop Ultra Matte in Naughty. And not that I've worn this a ton this month, the past couple of months I've been kind of wearing it every, you know, every couple of times I've done my makeup. I've been loving this as my nude option for doing a makeup look. And I've just been loving the Holiday 2016 liquid lipsticks from ColourPop. So I'm going to be filming a bunch today. My plan is to kind of wear this one and I'll go with the darker shade and I'll go with the even darker shade from the collection and kind of trick you guys um, with the different looks because I'm going to be wearing the same thing. So, <laughs> but I love this one. I do think that I know people have complained that the ultra mattes have been too matte for them. But this one really does not bother me. I, th I definitely think that as ColourPop has released more, their formulation has gotten better. Like this one compared to one of the original ones I got, it definitely feels nicer on the lips. Still matte, still doesn't transfer, but it, it feels really good on the lips. I There's like, some people love ColourPop liquid lipstick, some people love the ultra mattes. Some people love the ultra satin. Some people don't like either. Some people are fine with it just for the cost. Like there, it's all across the board for what people think about it. But for me, I, love ColourPop. Now, I have, I have not, well, I did try Ofra Cosmetics, but it's been a long time. The last time I used one from Ofra, like, it was so old. It was Miami Fever. It got so old, so I, like, just got rid of it. But, um, 
you know, I, so I really want to, again, try from Ofra. I want to try from Joseph Colors. I want to try other stuff. But the thing is, those are so expensive. <laughs> so like for those, it's just like, or even Kat Von D, but like, they're just so expensive that I'm kind of content with ColourPop, but I do want to switch it up for you guys. So I did put Joseph Colors on my Christmas wish list. I don't think I put Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipsticks on my wish list. I may have, I can't remember, but I think I definitely put Joseph Colors. I really want to try Joseph Colors. So we shall see on that. I do want to mention two tools that I used today to put on my makeup that I've been loving. One is just silly. It's just a pair of tweezers, but this has been really helpful in putting on my false lashes. What I do is I put them on with my finger. I just set them in place and then I use the tweezers just to like kind of crunch them on. I like pretty much crunch the skin of my eye and the lash together going along. So this has been really helpful and also helping in plucking my eyebrows. I never mentioned tweezers, but honestly guys, they're kind of key. They're key with your brows and they're key with your lashes. So definitely get some tweezers. And these are just regular tweezers too. I know like there's lash tweezers, but these just work fine. And then one thing that I finally tried guys, Essel Miss Glam, if you are watching this, please don't get mad at me. But Essel Miss Glam, I, she sent me a bunch of these beauty blenders, the Sparkle Everyday Beauty Blenders. And um, whenever I did that video, the giveaway video for you guys, it was the one where I did the Fairy Tale Glam Brushes giveaway. She sent me a bunch of these and some of them I gave away to the winners and um, I've been like, okay, I'm going to wait until I do a first impression video. I'll wait till I do a first impression. So I never used it because I never got around to trying to do a first impression. Eventually it was like, okay, I just need to freaking use it. And I did use it kind of in like my first impression of the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation with this kind of combo. So that's the first time me trying the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation with a sponge and also the first time me trying out the sponge. So you guys will kind of see me trying it for the first time there. It won't be dedicated just to this beauty blender necessarily, but um, I have been really loving it a lot. And I definitely think I'm going to be hooked back onto beauty blenders versus brushes because the beauty blender, it seems to me, is the only thing, only tool that I can use to put on foundation that I do not have to use my fingers. I did not even, sometimes even when I've found a good brush, I still double check and go in with my fingers. But with this, I did not have to at all. And I do have the regular beauty blender. But what I love about this Sparkle Everyday beauty blender is that there's a flat part. Now someone, I think they compared it, some YouTuber compared this one or they, they talked about yeah, I think they compared this one to a Real Techniques one. Like both had like a flat side, but this flat side worked better for them just in how big it was and the point and everything. So it does a really good job of getting right underneath there. I have a, like, I, and in my first impressions video, I talk about how this is the butt and this is the face. So I go in with the butt of it, get around my face and then kind of go in this inner part. I use this part too, to kind of get on my lid. Um, whenever I put concealer on there before I put on eyeshadow. And I really like this a lot. I love that it's pink. I think Essel Miss Glam did a very good job at creating this because A, it's, you know, she really thought about what would be good um, for you. And that's what I love about Elsa Miss Glam beauty in general is that she really does think about, she really wants to make a good product. She's just not trying to get the money. She puts out good products and they are, they're worth every penny. I know that they're more expensive, but there's a reason. She does a really good job. All of her products are really beautiful. And uh, she always goes back to the drawing board. Like I can't tell you how many times I've heard her say like, this is not even right. Like she's working on, she's working on some set of brushes and it wasn't the correct pink. So she keeps going back to the drawing board until she gets the exact color pink that she wants. So that's why I really love about her. And she just is a role model in general. Like I would love to own my own business one day. I just don't know how that's gonna happen. I mean, I don't know. I, I really have to research into it. I really wish I could be like her apprentice or something and like learn from her. That would be so cool. But um, yeah, so I really have been liking this sponge a lot. I have a feeling like I'm not gonna be able to put this down in 2018. All right, so now we're gonna get into the products that I'm not wearing today, but I do love. And technically I use this today. It is the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloth. They're really hydrating makeup removers and I love them. They're affordable. Most affordable, I think, at Target. If you, I think they're like $2.99 and you get your 5% off if you have a Target card. So I would recommend, if you don't have a Target card, get a Target card. You have 5% off of everything in the store except for like prescription drugs or like the super duper like... They have a disclaimer somewhere. But anyway, 
So these are great. I would highly recommend them. I talk about them all the time, so I'm not going to continue on and on. Another thing I talk about a lot with you guys uh, is the Elf Matte for Matte Palette in Nude Mood. I absolutely love it. I love pairing it with my ColourPop eyeshadows, so I pick a ColourPop eyeshadow to put on my lid, and then I use these to put um, the color on my crease. I usually gravitate towards the lighter end of the spectrum because when I get in here, typically I'm trying to do a more natural look, but there's also great eyeshadows to do for a more dark look. I've used some of these darker browns on the outer corner whenever I actually feel like doing the outer corner. Um, it also has a mirror, it's sleek, it's good for on the go. I really recommend this palette, especially if you're new to makeup, you're new to being vegan with your makeup, you're new to being cruelty free with your makeup or both. Um, and, and if you want to try more e.l.f. products, this is a great one to start. I know some people have said that the other Matte for Matte palettes weren't as good or like there was one in particular, I want to say the rosy one apparently wasn't as good, someone told me on Instagram. But I've heard that this one has gotten rave review, so um, if there's any one to start out with, I definitely think it's this one. And I already mentioned ColourPop Super Shock Shadows at the beginning, but there was one other one in the Holiday 2016 collection that I liked. And I recently created a look, I think it was in my last Would I Buy It video, that was absolutely stunning, and it is Slay, which first of all, that name. You know we're in the world of like Slay Girl Slay with like your makeup look, and then they come out with a shade called Slay, like it's perfect. And this is a metallic finished eyeshadow. Love this shade. It's like... It's a green, but it's also a gold. Like, it's a great mixture, and I think it's just really pretty to put on the lid. You can also put it in the crease. I think, what did I do late recently? I want to say, I might have put it on the lid, but I think in my, what I buy, I think I put this in the crease and couche on the lid. This could be a good halo look. I haven't, I've never done a halo look, guys. Is that crazy? Like, do you believe me? Like, I've never done a halo look. I've never even tried it, but I really need to try one. So, we shall see. All right, now, the next products. I'm going to put a disclaimer on. So these are Wet n Wild mascaras. They're the Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara, and this would be a favorite of mine. And this one's not a favorite of mine because I haven't used it in a while, but it is a holy grail product of mine. It's the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara. So here, here's my thing. A couple of years ago, Logical Harmony came out with a Wet n Wild list of vegan products. On that list, it said all mascaras from Wet n Wild were vegan friendly. Then Wet n Wild came out with a list a year or two later after that, and then they came out with another list. And I swear, both times that I checked Wet n Wild's list on their site, it said that these two mascaras were vegan friendly. Then I think a couple weeks ago, I went back on their site and the list was gone. And then only some of their products are marked vegan. Some of their products that are vegan are not marked vegan. And some of them that are vegan are marked vegan. And some of them that are not vegan are obviously not even marked. But like, you can't tell. Like, some of the ways I've been able to tell is on their hashtags on their new products, but then I'm like, well, what about their old products? Then one of my subscribers on my at vegan new and beauty Instagram account, you know, messaged me back because I put on like on my Instagram story, it was like, oh, hey, hey guys, Wet n Wild's really confusing me with their website. Like they're not being consistent with what's vegan, what's not vegan. Like, do you guys have any lists that you follow that you trust? And someone sent me the one from um, Elephant, or oh, what was it, Ethical Elephant. And I did see that list before, but it didn't have these mascaras on that list. And I don't know if it's because these are not vegan or because she didn't consider these or like there's not a full list, but these did not make her list. So now I'm not even sure if these are vegan or not. Apparently Wet n Wild is working on a list, an updated vegan list, or they're updating their site to mark everything properly. But these are the mascaras that I use all the time. I have one e.l.f. mascara. But it's not my favorite and I'm almost at it. Like I know I'm definitely getting towards the bottom and I have so much of these left. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to handle it moving forward. I'm not wearing them today. Uh, I'm wearing the e.l.f. one today. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. All right, the next product that I want to talk about is a compact mirror. You guys must have seen this a bunch in my Get Ready With Me videos or makeup tutorials or maybe I'm getting on here trying to fix something. But I've been using this a lot and this is like a seashell. So it's like a lavender seashell. And it's, it's a hair thing where you pop it out. I never really use a hair thing, but I love it using it as my mirror. So a lot of times you'll see me like checking my makeup, my lashes, or using it in a makeup tutorial and I'm using this. But I absolutely love this compact mirror. It's so cute. One of my best investments. Forever 21 has a lot of cute stuff. I just wish that their makeup was cruelty free and vegan friendly. The thing is, there's... I think there's still debate on it. I don't know if it's 100% sure yet, at least at a certain point when I looked on, on um, Logical Harmony's list. But it it's unclear, I think, as the last time I checked, whether or not certain... Let me look. I don't know why I keep saying, well, last time I checked. Let me just check now. It's not like this is live. 
Oh, just an FYI, Fenty Beauty is on the gray area list. It says, was unable to provide a clear statement on animal testing practices. Their FAQ page is not detailed enough to be sure of their cruelty-free status. Requests for clarification have not been responded to. So they've been moved to the gray area list, not just the pending list. So we shall see, Fenty Beauty. Okay, now Forever 21 is still on the pending list, which I think is kind of weird that it's been on the pending list for so long. But it is noted have reached out multiple times but have not received a response. So it's still up in the air as so whether or not Forever 21 makeup is cruelty-free or not. I really wish that it would be and I really hope that it would be vegan because they have a lot of cute stuff at least. Like they have really cute lip glosses. I bet you they wouldn't end up being vegan anyway. But they also keep getting discontinued so. Anyway, irrelevant. Forever 21 has really cute stuff so I recommend checking them out. Like their compact mirror, some of their hair brushes. They have like really cute hair bows and like accessories. But definitely check out Forever 21. Now I don't really have any skincare to talk about. I guess my only skincare would be my makeup remover wipes. But I wanted to talk about hair now. And I want to talk about the Pacifica products. I talk about these all of the time. I will be doing eventually um, a video on my hair. I kind of want to wait till after Christmas because I may get some more hair products from Pacifica because I put them on my Christmas wish list. So I will, I'll probably film a video sometime after Christmas, which is like a week away, less than a week away. But I love the Super Kale Juiced Up Shampoo and Conditioner. They're great, sulfate free. All hair types, especially fine, oily, or color-treated hair, 100% vegan and cruelty-free. Eight fluid ounces in each of these bottles. I love that the bottles are like this and that, you know, the product comes out from the bottom so you don't have to, like, have that awkward upside-down bottle um, when you get to the bottom of the bottle. Um, what's really funny is if you guys go on to Target.com, I think it's still like this. It's been like this for a month or two where you can get the Super Kale, I think, shampoo for, like, half the price and then you can get the coconut power conditioner for half the price. Now I kind of wish that they were the same plate or the same scent because I can get the shampoo in Super Kale and I have to get a different color and like the conditioner is full price but the shampoo isn't and then the other the other scent the shampoo is full price but the conditioner isn't so when I put in my purchase last time I ended up getting another Super Kale shampoo and then a coconut power conditioner because I got them both for 50% off. So I don't know why that's happening, but I'm just like, well, if my hair has to smell like kale and coconut at the same time, I really don't care because honestly my sense of smell is really bad. I can't even tell, but you can save some money. So if you guys want to save some money, go on to Target, get the, the, the ones that are on sale already, and then you get your additional 5% off. And if you have a Target card, you're also going to get free shipping. Also, usually you can get like buy one, get one 50% off, but these are already 50% off if you get the right one. So just an FYI. Okay, now we're going to get into fashion favorites and two of these fashion favorites made it into my last fashion favorites which was on my Fashion Attic Next Door YouTube channel. I will have that fashion video linked down below. But I talked about my Forever 21 necklace which I will insert a clip here and then also my Forever 21 hoop earrings which I'll insert a clip here. Of course I'm not wearing them today but I've been absolutely loving those lately. Another thing I've been loving are my pearl stud earrings. I got them last year and I've just been gravitating towards those lately. Um, if, if I'm not doing hoops, I'm doing the pearl studs and I just think that they're super cute. Today I am wearing the cream ones, but a lot of the time I've been wearing the pink ones. So I definitely recommend checking out Forever 21 accessories. They're real, they're affordable, you have a lot of options, they're super cute. Man, I really wanna to go to Forever 21 now. It's been a while, but it is a great store. You do have a lot of great options there. The next favorite of mine are my ColourPop button up pajamas. Wait, did she just say ColourPop pajamas? The next favorite of mine are my ColourPop button-up pajamas. So I will insert clips of me in videos where I'm wearing these pajamas. I have them in so many different colors, but that's pretty much what I wear every day. I've been living at home. I have no job. I don't go anywhere. I probably haven't actually even walked outside for like two weeks. I think I've been in this house. I haven't even walked outside to the mail or whatever in two weeks. I used to go on walks, but it's really cold now. And like I, for me, if I walk outside, get a cold. Walk outside, get a stomach flu. Like, I try to avoid it as much as possible. Granted, my family's going in and out, so they bring in sickness. But, um, so I try to avoid being out in the cold. So pretty much, I'm just in here wearing my pajamas, and I just change my top for filming. And like, as you can see, I'm, I'm wearing them. These are the mauve ones. But I am always wearing these pajamas. But after Christmas, I'm going to be filming a video for you guys on my 
Victoria's Secret button up pajama collection. It's going to be full length so you'll see both the top and the bottom of the pajamas and I'm going to show you every one that I have. I think I have like at least eight so far, eight pairs in different colors and I may get another pair or two um, at Christmas time so that's why I'm waiting for Christmas. I'm like I might as well wait till right after Christmas and then I'll film that video for you guys of my entire collection just because I have so many for, of them. Every Christmas for the past several years I've asked for them so that is why I have so many. So I will be sharing that with you guys. But these have been a lifesaver because they're a way for me to um, be comfortable but not feel like a total frump, like a total loser. So I'm like, okay, at least I look cute in my button-up pajamas. Like I don't have to completely bum it. Sometimes I bum it whenever like I haven't done laundry in a while. So then I have to bum it sometimes. But whenever I still, you know, want to at least look a little put together, a little cute, not feel like such a bum, but still be comfortable. These are great. I love the button up pajamas. I definitely think over the years they've gotten more comfortable and comfortable. Um, and that has nothing to do with my size. Like I wear all of them right now in each time. And I definitely think some fit better than others. And I think that they've gotten progressively better, at least for my body type, over the years. <coughs> Now the product I wish I could say was a favorite of mine is the hat that I'm wearing, but I've only worn it a couple of times and like I said I never go outside so I don't really seem feel the need to wear the hat, but every time that I have been outside this past month I have been wearing this hat. So this is a hat from Lucy Tie Designs. So it has a hole at the top where you can pull your ponytail through. Oh and another favorite of mine which I forgot to mention when I was talking about hair stuff is I've been really loving wearing my hair up in a high ponytail whether I was filming or working out. I put my hair up in this really high ponytail especially with my hair waved. I really loved how the look looked overall and I'll insert little clips right here so you guys can see what my hair looked like whenever I was wearing it up in a high ponytail. I love putting a bow in front of it. Um, it's just been a really fun to wear my hair like that. Um, but today because I was wearing a hat I wanted to wear my hair down. But if you did want to wear this hat and you wanted your hair pulled back in a messy bun or just a regular ponytail, you can pull it right through this little hole here. And uh, Lucy Tie was created by my friend Jennifer, and Jennifer um, hand knits these herself. So they're really, really cute. And I got mine in a black and white, or like a black and a cream, because I wanted something that I could kind of wear with everything. I think next time I'll probably go for like a pink or something. But um, I really wanted to try it out for the first time like this. I've been really liking it. What I love about it too, is that there's this part in the front that comes out a little bit further. I don't think you can really tell when it's on, but whenever you're holding it, it kind of looks like it goes out further. But once you put it on, you can't tell, but it looks great. It feels great because it goes out far enough. I swear some of them, some hats like this are beanies that are so perfect or around the circle that when you put it on, it's like they slide off. They don't feel like really fit on my head, but this comes far enough forward that it's still on my head, still covering what I need it to cover without it, you know, being pulled back. So I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but. I just think it helps make it fit better. So I think she did a really good job of that. I love that she has the pull through. I think that was a really good idea to do that type of hat because it's really trendy right now. Um, really fun um, and uh, really helpful. And I wear it with, I wear it, you know, with my hair down, with my hair pulled back, both ways work. So I really like it. So segueing into the giveaway, my giveaway is going to be with these hats. So I will have the giveaway information linked down below, all the giveaway rules. This time, I can only make it national. I've always said that all of my giveaways were going to be international, but I'm in a really, I'm in a bad financial situation, and um, I had to ask my mom if it was okay if I still did this giveaway, and here's what happened. Me and Jennifer decided to do this collab. So we, we, so we decided to do this collab, and then a couple weeks later, I ended up moving to home with my family. Now, when we did this idea for the collab, I was thinking that, you know, I'll, I'll get a job. But then several weeks have passed and my health just like went downhill and like there's no way that at this moment in time I could go and get a job. So whenever I moved there, she sent me this stuff. I'm like, oh crap, like I actually have to, you know, whenever I do this giveaway, not only, you know, you know, I have the product, so that's free, you know, to give away, but I also have to pay for shipping. So I was like, <laughs> so I just went around like, well, I still have to ship these, so I have to use money. And it's my own money, but technically I owe them a lot of money, so it's like, uh, so I kind of still have to be like, hey, I know this is not necessary, but I already made a deal with someone ahead of time, so um, so this is the only giveaway I can do until I'm making my own money, until I've paid my parents back. So, um, but and it's only happening because I made uh, a deal with my friend Jen ahead of time. So that's why this is happening. So I'm only gonna make it national because 
Um, if I make it international, it's possible that I could pay a lot more in shipping before I really don't care. If I was making my own money, I wouldn't care. But because I owe my parents money, I don't want to be, you know, doing that. Plus, there's always a lot of complications with international giveaways. So, um, I, I don't need an extra app, um, hassle for me right now especially with my health and like things go wrong and stuff so overall like it's just it's going to be this time a better way to go to do it national but down the road I will be doing international again so don't worry it's just like I'm in a special situation right now where I can't afford to do that so it will be national and so just in the United States I will have the information link down below on how to enter so check out the description box if you want to enter in the giveaway and there's going to be four winners I'm going to show you guys what you're going to be winning so they're the hats that I'm wearing right now. So they're the hats that I'm wearing right now, but they're going to be in different colors. So uh, Jen created this purple one. Then we have this one with this teal blue. Then we have a lavender one. And then we have this baby pink one. And so pretty much I'm going to draw um, the names and whoever's first place gets to pick a color, second place gets to pick the next color, third place gets to pick the next color, and fourth place gets to gets the whatever colors left. So that's how I'm going to do that. So um. Like I said, look down in this description box for the information. I am really excited to do this partnership with Jen. She's a really great person. I love the things that she's knitted. She's also knitted me, um, where is it? She also has knitted me these hand gloves to match my hat. And this was just something extra that she threw in there. She was only gonna throw in the hats so for the giveaway but she also included these and then something else and this matches perfectly, keeps your hands warm but fingers can still get out there so I can play on my phone. Like how perfect is that? So I really love the thing that she creates. So I really want to support her. She's a, you know, it's a small business type of thing, support small businesses. So I will have her information linked down below. Jen, thank you so much for, you know, providing these hats, you know, for me to have and then for my subscribers to win. I think that's really sweet of you. Um, and I really appreciate it. Uh, so thank you very, very much. And just a disclaimer, if I haven't already said it, these were sent to me for free, but this is not a sponsored video. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments what your favorites are from the past month, whether they're beauty products or fashion products. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Click that little bell so that you're notified of when my videos have been posted. Like this video if you did like it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. I absolutely love the mixtures of matte and metal crush shades. I always talk about how I like the titanium, ti titanium metal, metallic, whatever, finish on my lid and I love mattes on the crease in the outer corner. I think it's a great combination and I feel like there's some really great neutral colors in here. There's some more fun colors. Um, I think this is a very well balanced eyeshadow palette and especially because it's a mini.